Hey guys, welcome back to Car Trains and Aviation, and today I'm going to show you something which you probably might have heard of. It's called Train Simulator World. It's on the Xbox. Uh, I got it for about nineteen pounds. Great game. I, I, it's better than um, TS uh, t than uh, Train Simulator two thousand and nineteen and twenty because um, you can get out the train um, and you can move around. And that's very realistic. So today we're going to play Train Speed World, and I'm going to show you how to play it. Not exactly like a tutorial, but a bit like a tutorial. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Let's go. So that was the trailer. Uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to choose a GWR class 166. I like the 166, I like the doors on it. That's why I'm going to choose it. Right, where are we going to go from? Uh, let's do, how about midday, midday, um, oak, um, hmm, there's lots and lots of different routes you can do, so I'm just wondering which one I should do, let's do, uh, Great Malvern, no, sorry, Reading to London Paddington, okay. So we've chosen the route of Reading to London Paddington. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, and yeah. I'll just skip the loading bit so you don't have to wait. Okay guys, so here we are. At the moment we're at uh, London Paddington. Reading. Let's just take a look. So first we're going to open the doors. Which is that button there. To get out you press Y. As I said, you can move around and very, very good train graphics. On board the train, you have passengers. As you can see, you can, you can even sit down the passenger seat, which is quite cool. Uh, my train is due to depart in 15 minutes. Whilst we're here, let me just show you around the Reading train station in the game. So you can also run in the game, which is why I've got that button on. It doesn't have much inside, but you can go up the escalators and you can explore around. You've got people and um, escalators, lifts. The lifts don't actually work, and neither do the escalators. But um, it's the, you can still walk down them, and it's pretty cool, in fact. So these are the, the stations, the uh, platforms. This is platform 15 here. And our train is on platform 14, the class 166. Let me show you around on the inside. So we've got toilets. Sliding doors, very realistic. And then you've also got first class in here, which is pretty cool. So we're just going to enter, you can also enter via this door, so we're just going to get in, and then when you're ready to go, click train door close, but we're not ready to go yet, we still have five more minutes at Reading, 
like I said, very good graphics. And if you accidentally fall it or fall off, which I have now, what you have to do is uh her. Okay, this didn't happen. I didn't have the same problem with this before. You click that and you climb up the stairs, click Y. Shut the doors. So that's the train view. As I said, very good graphics. Okay, well, let's uh, climb aboard the train. We'll close the doors. We're a bit running late. We're running a bit late on schedule. That's because I've been showing you around. Actually, I need to get to the station by 11.54, which is why we're late. Okay, let's get back in. So, sit in the driver's seat, close the door, to, let, to go you have to put the reverse off, put that into forward, I don't like, put that back into there, and that strange is not, one, it's not letting me do it. Okay, I haven't had that situation before. That's strange, okay, um... I'll just, I'll just show you back in a minute when I'm about to get the train going. Okay guys, I forgot to unlock the master kit switch, which is right next to the reverse thing. So let's just do that. And then bring that to forward. And full power. And then... We're moving. Also, you can then have a look in the cabin. Let's sit down and take a look. Good scenery. Hello, person. We're just departing Reading. And we are very late. Very, very late. Because I have not read what I said properly. Right, let's head back to the driving cab. Shut the door behind us and take a seat in the driver's position. Also, I think I'll, the other thing I find really fun is this, the horn. Oh yeah, you got horns on this game. Really, really fun, really great. The train's wobbling about a bit, but um, when we come into the station, I'll show you how to slow down. Now, it's quite a long while until we get to the next station, sh station sorry. Uh, so I'll just pause the video and then you can uh, rewatch when we're coming into the station. Okay, guys, uh, we're coming into Twyford now. So what you have to do is you turn that to break off. And you go, it doesn't matter which way you go. I'll just put set it to braking two. And then we'll gradually slow down. I put it off and the train will just cruise a bit. Just speed up, so we're not exactly there yet. Got 0 0.9 miles left. Okay. Now you don't have to do this, but when departing or uh, and uh, when departing the station, you do the guard buzzer. You push it twice, like that. Uh, basically, warns the guard. You can do a guard mode on here, but on this game, but I just can't remember how you do it. Anyway, um, we're coming into the station now. 
so we'll just slow ourselves down a bit. Okay, there's Twyford up ahead. Okay, and we're just going to come to a halt when we get into the station. Hopefully. Just speed up a bit. Okay. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. We accidentally started moving again, but that doesn't matter. So now you get trained or release. So that's coming into the station. Now we are at Twyford. I didn't completely come onto the uh come into the station. Oh no, the doors have opened there. <laughs> oh no, that's not very good. Um I could have uh waited a bit, but um So uh there you have it ladies and gentlemen. The class 166, how to drive it and how to move about on this game. Which is a very good game. Oh, there goes a class. Is that, uh, no, it's a class 166. So thank you very much for watching this uh, tutorial of some sort. And uh, good night.